I'm Lance Silvington with Cyber Country. You know, if you talk about bluegrass, one of the first names that comes up is that of Ricky Skaggs. And even with all the trappings of his fame, Ricky still holds tight to the bluegrass traditions that have brought him this far. We'll hit the high notes and talk about his new releases in this Cyber Country Minute. Well, one of the things I love about, about traditional music is uh, the roots and the foundations are there. I think it's always good to know where you came from. Uh, it's good to, you know, traditional bluegrass is like doing the basics. I mean, Tiger Woods is the best at what he does because he does the basics real well. He goes out and keeps hitting golf balls day after day after day after day. Hundreds, hundreds doing the same thing. Great musicians play the scales. They just play them over and over and over again. And uh, bluegrass music, for me, is going back and playing the traditional stuff over and over and over again, being great at what you play, and then being able to expand and, and uh, opening up your ears to, to new sounds and creating new, new stuff for yourself. Now, I've seen you on stage before many times, and the thing I like about it is you seem to make each show new. How tough is it to do that? Uh, gosh. You know, I think, I think what we try to do is, is uh, when we can incorporate CD project like, like the Cracker Barrel CD. Now, it'll be a different show tonight. You know, I'm bringing out uh, uh, the Whites with me tonight. Uh, they sang on the original, a lot of the original cuts that I did back in the '80s, the, the original hits that I had, especially "Honey, Open That Door," and and uh, Sharon sang uh, uh, on uh, "I Wouldn't Change You If I Could" back in the original cut. That was the number one cut of that. And uh, so, you know. But I think, you know, we've got three album projects that we're talking about tonight. We've got the Cracker Rail CD, we've got Salt of the Earth, and then we've got Honoring the Fathers of Bluegrass. I've been a busy guy the last two years, so uh, a, lot, a lot of things to play and sing tonight. One thing, too, I know for a fact I've seen at the Apple Store. Yeah. Why, why is it important for you to use ne te new technology to hold to the old traditional stuff? Or is that a tough blend to make, or is it an easy blend? Well, Apple rocks, you know, and they, they're just right for the, for the musician, and uh, it's just a, it's, it's a great system. I, I love using Apple and, and uh, the iPhone. I mean, it, it is, it's really saved my shoulder. I don't have to carry my, my big computer out on the road with me all the time. So, uh, uh, and the, the new 2.0 software uh, has lots of Bible programs that I can download, and uh, so I don't have to carry uh, lots of weight now. So I can, I can just be real portable and uh, say hello when someone rings. <laughs> now we need to give you a, your an Apple geek status here in Nashville. Hey, come on. <laughs> hey, this is Ricky Skaggs. You really should pick up a copy of High Notes at Cracker Barrel, only at Cracker Barrel. And then order a really nice hot plate of fried chicken on Sundays. That's the, the fried chicken day. Mashed potatoes, greens, corn, and pinto beans, and lots of cornbread, and butter, and honey, and iced tea! <laughs>